Hey, thanks so much for this question. Um, it's always really nice when people are doing a bit of research before getting their hamster. Um, so hopefully you already know a few of the things that I'm going to tell you in this, but I'm just going to reiterate it anyway, just so that it's here. Um, so when you're getting a hamster for the first time, you want to make sure that they have a minimum size enclosure. Now the minimum is 80 centimeters by 50 centimeters for any hamster. However, for Syrian hamsters, it's recommended that you go for 100 centimeters by 50 centimeters automatically straight away means no wasting money on um, upgrading later on and that kind of thing so that's about like this size of enclosure here um, which is a Barney cage um, but you know if you decide to go down the 80 by 50 centimeter route just note that you might have to upgrade in future your hamster could be happy in it but you know the chances are that they'll outgrow it essentially your second most important thing is making sure that they have a large enough wheel so you want a 28 centimeter wheel. Um, wooden wheels are better for their sort of like claws and things to keep them nice and short. Um, you'll want really safe bedding. So you'll want all paper based bedding if you can. Um, if you don't want to bother figuring out which wood shavings are safe and stuff. Um, so I recommend tea bag, care fresh, KT clean and cozy, um, Fitch and stuff like that. Um, don't use any fluffy bedding at all, it's really dangerous for them and sawdust can cause respiratory infections and you'll need to pay for vet care on that which is just an unnecessary expense. Um, then you'll want a sand bath, again using um, desert sand or, um, and non-dusty sand, do not use chinchilla dust or the tiny friends farm sand as these are created from clay and can be very dusty and cause problems as well, especially if ingested. Um, and then finally, you will want to make sure they have enough hides, toys and things to do in their enclosure. Hamsters love a packed out enclosure. So as you can just see briefly here in Lupin's, he's got lots of platforms and things because he loves to run up and down. You'll figure out what your hamster likes over time, but start off with just pack it full of things and see what they play with. Take things out, put things back in. Um, and then my absolute final point is that they will need a space to either free roam or play in a playpen. Um, so those are really, really integral um, so that you can get your hamster out. Hamster balls are super dangerous, so please don't use them. Um, but you can get your hamster out. It's a really great bonding exercise because if you get a playpen the size that you can sit in, um, then, you know, they'll hopefully start to come up to you and climb on you naturally without you having to, like, sort of force them into interactions. Um, so, yeah, those are my top tips. Make sure they have access to food and water at all times. Um, scatter feeding is optimal. Um, and, yeah, I hope this helps.